Hello, hello, and welcome to yet another session of African Mumpreneurs and Sky Mills. You know, the chips, the Russians going out, you know, those who were in Zimbabwe, those who know Zimbabwe and who know those, you know, I'm a chips lawana, guys. This is a lady that we are talking to today, somebody who has said, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I'm going to do these chips and do them so well. And any other meals that you can get, you know, your nice meals when you go to Unit Village. Guys, you know what I'm talking about. I've got a lady all the way from Zimbabwe in Bulawayo, and I'm just going to be chatting with her today to understand who she is, where she's coming from, how did she come about? But guess what? You are going to be hungry when I'm talking to her. This is Samu Kumbi, the mompreneur, and I am your host. And I'm excited to be talking to women from all over Africa. And if you want to be part of them, get in touch with me. My details are down below. But let's welcome our guest. Welcome, Kara. Thank you so much, Sam Kumbi. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Awesome. I, was, I mean, I'm good, and you know, the weather this side is nice. I hear it's cold down there. Yeah, this side, it's very cold. It's raining. It's been raining for the past two days. Wow, so wow, guys. That's why we are wearing jackets. <laughs> <laughs> but I was wondering, how come you're wearing jackets and I'm just in my T-shirt? <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> so, Carol, please tell me about Carol. Who is Carol? Besides her being a businesswoman, who is Carol? Okay, Caroline uh, is a young mom in her early 40s. Uh, I'm married to Joseph Piri Nyati. I've got two kids. Um, I love life. I, I love living life to the fullest. I love restaurants. I love mm -hmm. traveling. Uh, I love meeting new people, especially influential people and um, I'm an outgoing person and I yeah. love teaching. <laughs> we are getting to that, we're getting to that. So tell me, tell me, Carol, um, what's, okay, what's one fun thing that we need to know about you? Uh, one fun thing that you need to know about me is when you're around me, uh, I love to spoil the people around me, especially cooking. I love to cook. That's my speciality. So when you visit me, just know that you are in for a very good feast that I'll prepare for you. Um, I love to talk. <laughs> I love to talk a, a lot. Wow. Wow. Ladies out there, you are in Ethiopia, you are in Ghana, you are aware when you think of Zimbabwe and you want a good meal, this is the lady to connect with. So, Carol, please tell me, tell me about your business. What's what's the name? How did you start this business? Okay, uh, the the my business is called Skies Mills. It's located in Zimbabwe, in a, in Bulawayo, which is the second capital city in Zimbabwe. Yeah. Uh, we specialize uh, mainly on fast food, and we specialize okay. on Russian and chips, that is our main specialty. We also do some other takeaways like pies, um, chi chicken and chips, samosas. Uh, we in recently introduced the Amapega and we are still trying to improve the menu, but we were specializing mostly on Russian and chips. We are a fast food. Okay, okay, okay. So when, when did you start your business? We started the business in 2016. 2016. 2016. What what came about? I mean, how did you come to think about this? Because you know, Russian, you know, you can always make these things at home. How did you come up with this idea? Uh, actually, I'm not the one who came up with the idea. It's my husband. Mm -hmm. We wanted to invest in Zimbabwe, which is my mm -hmm. hometown. We wanted to have something that is gonna generate cash for us. So mm -hmm. he decided to open a restaurant, which is a takeaway. It's just a small restaurant, it's not big. So we started slowly. We, 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 we did not have big dreams. 
okay. about this restaurant. It was something that he, we want to invest and get something. But as mm -hmm. time went by, people were so keen and they were very, like they were enjoying the type of food that we we're offering them. So we decided mm -hmm. to grow the brand. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, we are talking about Sky's Meals and Russian and Chips. Please, if you are visiting home, where are you located, Carol? Where, 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 is, your, where is your shop? Or is it shops yeah. now? I, for now, it's one branch. We used to have two. We are specializing on the, the fast food one and mm -hmm. the other one was a restaurant. So the other one, we ended up closing it. Now we are only left with one which is located okay. on corner Robert Mkabe Way in 9th Avenue in Kulawayo. Okay, corner Robert Mkabe and 9th and Avenue, 9th. guys. That's the place to go. It's Sky Mills. Look for this lady, even if she's not there. Just order the Russian and chips. Yo, yeah, yeah, you're making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so, Carol, tell me, how, I mean, wait, wait, how did you start? What do you need to start a, a business like this? Did you start at home in the garage? You know, like people say you started off. How did you start? Um, we started, um, as I said earlier, that we wanted something that was going to generate cash for us, yeah. uh, me and my husband. So we started small. We started by buying a small chip fryer. And then we, we started by doing chips. With the Russians, we were buying them somewhere else. But the quality that we had at first, it was not what we had wished for. It's not okay. what we want as a company. So as time went on, we started to think of a way of making our own Russian. So we invested on in buying a machinery to do our homemade Russians, which worked very well. We did our own recipe, which is uh, we do 100% beef Russians because most of the people are doing Russians. Sometimes they use all sorts of meats. They use uh, pork, some they use okay. uh, beef, they use mm -hmm. chunks. They put a lot of spices with us. Our Russian is unique because we only use beef and a little bit of our spices. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. You cannot get this anywhere else. This is a, a, an indigenous Russian that is made. I can't wait. I can't wait to come to Bulaya. Oh, my God. <laughs> so how did you... So from, from, from you uh, doing the chips at home, you managed to raise capital to buy a machinery for Russians? Yes. We, we had a small uh, chip fryer. So from that small chip fryer, we managed to capitalize and get a little cash. And then we bought a small machine to do the ration. As time went on, the demand got bigger and bigger. The customers, they started to come as many as they, they could because the ration was the best in town. It was best in town. So we ended up buying a bigger machine. So like for now, we are having a machine that makes like 200 rations a day, 200 mm -hmm. rations a day. But usually we do over time and make maybe 400 rations per day because now the capacity of people are coming is gotten bigger. A day we save like 400 to 500 people. Okay, so so Carol, tell me, uh, these Russians, are you just now making them for your shop or are you now making for other shops? Uh, we, we, the plan was to make the Russians for our own shop because yes. it's our own recipe. We didn't yes. want to spread it around. Yes. But yes. as time went on, our customers, they ended up wanting to buy Russian to take home so that they uh -huh. can cook for breakfast. Okay. Some, they were even using them to cook maybe for dinner because they're saying they tasted like sausages. So mm. we ended up supplying people, the basically customers who used to come and buy at our shop. 
Okay, so so now you you are a supplier for for the Russians. You know, there's there might be a woman who is in Bulawayo there, and they want to do they want to start this business like in the location or whatever suburb they are in. So there is a way that they can contact you and get to order from you. Yes, there is a way they can come straight to the shop. We drop at Mkabe Way, Sky is Mills, yes. drop at Mkabe Way, Ninth Avenue. And then they can look for me. I will tell them how to start this kind of business if they are interested. Or if they okay. want to come and buy the rations to resell. Because yeah. I've got other people come to stock from me and resell and do for small businesses in the locations. Wow. Carol, what I'm hearing from you, you are a woman who has risen from just starting to do chips. And then now you went on to do the rations. And you are not only doing the rations for the shop, but then you are now doing the rations to supply other people. But also now people are buying and are reselling. So you've, you've evolved in this industry. Yes. Is this, is this what you meant to be when you started or it's something that came along the journey? Uh, I can say it's something that came along the journey. I never imagined myself. Uh, supplying people with rations. My main speciality it was like selling the ration and chips. Yes. But as time went by, people, they started to ask that, why can't you sell us these rations? Because they are very nice. We need mm -hmm. them for, for, we need them at home for breakfast. Others, they said, we also need them to resell in the locations. So it's okay. something that we never planned. It's something that just came along the way and then we decided to move with the flow. Wow, wow. So, Carol, tell me, for, for, for a woman who is looking, maybe they are in Pumula. I know, I know, Amma, that's my hometown, guys. That's why I'm, I know the suburbs. Maybe they are in Pumula, maybe they are in Pulumane, and they want to just start doing this to supplement that income for the family. How, what what's your advice how can they do i know you are now a big person you've got a shop but for a woman who is sitting at home and watching you what is it that they can do where do they start i can say you have to start small you have to start small for you to grow big yeah. they can maybe come and stock the rations because we're selling them at 70 cents you can start okay. with a a, a packet of rations for ten dollars which is 10 us 150 rands yeah. You start from there, you start to move those ones. If you move those ones, when you get the profit, you also buy next time for $20. And then yeah. the next time you buy for $30, you continue rotating until you grow bigger. Okay. You start small, okay. you can start even five, with $5, with $5. Yeah. As long as you, you've got a startup plan. If you start with mm -hmm. your $5, maybe you come and stop for $5 because I know and I trust this Russian, it will save. Yeah. It has never yeah. disappointed as to all the people that we are supplying, they are coming back to thank us that, oh no, these Russians, they are very nice. We are mm -hmm. even trying to introduce flavors, maybe because the ones that we have is just a original simple Russian. Now we want yeah. to make the, the Russian a cheese, chili Russian, because mm -hmm. of the demand we are getting from people, people, they love this Russian. Others, they say, no, we want the spicy one. The others, yeah. they want, one that is called cheese. So that's what we are planning to. Okay, God, listen, listen, listen. You are listening to me and you are watching this. This is the start of January. This is a, a, new, a new year. And you're saying, you are asking yourself, what is it that I can do? Here is Carol. And here she is giving you a simple idea for you to go to her with $5 and buy the rations with $10 and buy the rations and go and resell. And let me tell you, by the time it's August, by the time it's December, you'll be saying, Samu, I want to come and be interviewed by you because I've done so much. So please don't sit on this. We are talking about Sky Mills. Tell me, Carol, what is it that um, you wish you had known before you, before you started? What is it that you've like? I wish I had known that I would be I would be here or something like that. Um, I all I can say is uh, one thing that I wish I would had known. Maybe mm -hmm. um, it's uh, finding somebody to mentor me 
towards this business. I know that I'm coming from a background of a restaurant, but you cannot know everything, especially when it comes to finances, on how to balance the money, on how to budget, on how to put your things in order. I think mm -hmm. if I had known this before I started this business, I could be far, but I'm slowly yeah. learning. But okay. if that's one thing that I, I, I wish I could have known before I started the business to get somebody who can give me a proper business plan on how I can budget my things and on how I can do things in a professional way. Wow, I like that. I like that. And from what I'm hearing you saying that you are learning. So this is something that even the people that are coming to buy from you, you can now mentor them. Are you offering mentorship? Yes, for now, I, I'm open for mentorship. I am ready because I think in the past two years, I've learned so much and I am one person who would love to impart somebody with what I've got, especially young as I want yes. to leave something that I've learned in this industry so that we can also take this thing and take it further because on my side, I can know this thing on a certain limit but yeah. when some post would come and add value and this thing would be taken to another level. Yes, yes, that, that, that's it, that's it. I, 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 I love that. Um, so right now you are based in only Bulawayo. Um, do you have uh, people outside uh, Bulawayo that you are supplying or what, what are you looking at doing? For now, I don't have any people outside Bulawayo that I'm supplying, but I do have a lot of customers outside Bulawayo. Some others, they come as far as from Harare, others Victoria Falls, others Kwe Kwe. I've had a lot of offers, people offering me that you, can you please come and open a branch in Harare? Can you please come and open a branch in Kwe Kwe? So we are looking to do some a project like that one, maybe in the next coming year. I put a lot of customers from outside my hometown. Okay, okay. So how do you, when you're talking of customers, how do you maintain your customer relations? I mean, how do you maintain your customers? Or is it customers that just come and buy and go and you don't have uh, regular customers? How, how do you treat that uh, relationship with your customers? Okay, uh, most of the customers that I've got here, I uh, got them through maybe someone who just passing by and yeah. the others maybe I get them through advertising. I advertise a lot on social media, yeah. on Instagram, Facebook, on, in, on WhatsApp. The mm -hmm. others, they are just walkies. And the, the most important thing that I try to maintain so that my customers don't go away, I always offer them a warm home. We tell them of the special, we always try to check what our customers love because this thing is not all about us, it's all about the customers. So we always make sure that we give them what they need. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's about the customers, hey. It's, it's not about us, it's about them. As long we leave them happy and satisfied, that is the most important thing. So we okay. always try to interact. I, I, I'm, I'm somebody who always like to interact with my customers. I try by all means to talk with my customers to check whether they are happy, they love the food, what are the improvements that they need from us, what are the other things that they need from us to eat on the menu. Like for now, we've added like um, the beggars, we didn't have hamburgers because yes, yes. a lot of customers are saying the food here is very nice, especially the chips, the Russians, but we need to come and find the menu wider so that we can be able to order some other items because you okay. know you end up getting tired of eating one and the same thing. So we need to come back when, whenever I come the following day, somebody will be able to say, I today I feel like Russian and chips or today I feel mm -hmm. like chicken and chips or tomorrow I feel like a bigger chips so uh, okay. we always try to listen to our customers okay okay i hear you um <clears throat> but on 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 that note you yes you listen to your customers and add this are you now in a position to be able to handle that kind of menu 
yes definitely yes we okay. are in that type of a position because i think the journey that we have traveled i can say the whole of this year we were trying yeah. to rebrand the shop by okay. giving the customers whatever they needed and vice versa us getting what they need from us so okay. we are going to introduce new stuff slowly we're not going okay. to like put everything one at one point. Right. We we're just going to start with the bakers and see the response and then if the bakers they are now selling nicely and then we start another new item i think we'll be doing this every after four months we okay. change the menu we'll start by doing specials and see okay. how this special of the new items goes if they're right. buying them as much as they they've been wanting them then we we'll put it on the menu but if it's not moving then we'll cancel it and look for something else to replace that item Okay, I hear you. I've got a question though. Um, <clears throat> when you're saying that you listen to your customers, for, for you to say we are bringing these beggars, what, what number are you looking at? Do you work with numbers or maybe just three, four people who say we want beggars, then you put them in? What, what, how do you measure that now it's time to add this? I think I work with numbers because uh, I've had a lot of customers. It can be okay. I'm calculating maybe more than 50, 50 okay. customers okay. requested. If it was maybe two or three people, maybe I was just gonna say, ah, okay, I will see to it. But uh, yeah. almost a single day, there's not even a single day that passes without somebody asking for a beggar. Some they'll okay. be just walking around and they'll tell you, no, we are looking for beggars. Why can't you maybe do beggars? So okay. we have seen that he, and I've also tried to check he, 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 other restaurants yes. in Wyoming. There are very few restaurants that have got hamburgers. So okay. I, I've said, okay, if the case is that, then I have to consider and put the baker and see how it goes. Okay, then you know, then you know that the market is, is ready and the market is there. So market research is important, would you say that? Yes, it is very important. It's very important. Awesome. Guys, you are watching us from wherever you're watching us from. This is something that you can do as well in your community. What is it not the chips? We're talking about potatoes. Russians, you can contact Carol. Either she'll supply you or she'll let you on and her recipe, whatever she has done. This is something that is possible. You can't sit at home and cry and say there's no money. You can make chips and sit by your gate. People will buy those things. Carol, I am, I am so, so grateful um, that you came and that you are talking to us about this. I already have a few people that I'm going to be sending your way and saying, listen, go and get mentorship from Carol. But let me turn it around. Do you have a question for me? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> not really. What can I help you with? Knowing, knowing me. <laughs> uh, I for now you caught me by surprise. <laughs> I caught you. Yeah, you should be ready. You're a businesswoman. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay that's okay you know what carol is there is that for someone to start a business like yours do they have to study something uh not really not really mm -hmm. i think this kind of business i always tell a lot of people that you know for you to do any type of business you have to be passionate about that thing because Excellent. i've seen a lot of people who have ventured into this business, but they failed this money because they are doing it for the wrong reasons. Maybe, you know, they'll be after money. And when that money doesn't come, they end up just leaving. But if you are doing it passionately, because it's something that you love, it's something that every day when you sleep, you are looking forward to wake up in the morning and doing it. Whether there is money or there is no money, you will do it wholeheartedly. I always okay. tell people that, you know, positive energy will attract positive things. So if yes. you go in the morning with a positive mind, knowing that I'm going to do this thing because I love it, it will automatically attract people and the money will come because you're doing mm -hmm. something that you love. You're not expecting to, at the end of the day, you know, today I want to make 
$100. Even if you don't make that $100, you have sold two things. It's something. Mm. It makes you sleep at night. But at least I've sold something. So yeah. I always tell people that, you know, this kind of business, you need to love. You, 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 the, the, you need to be passionate because okay. one of the disadvantages that is the slow mm. hours. You have to be standing the whole day. So if you are not prepared for long hours, you are not prepared to stand the whole day, you're not going to make it. You have to be somebody who loves that. Because for me, I can stand for 16 hours, but I won't feel the pain in my feet or whatever because I'll be doing something that I love. That you love. That you love. But you're saying long hours. When do, how do, how, how long do restaurants open? Uh -huh. restaurants What's before? Yeah. The before part, before you open, you have to be there. Yes, like for me on my side, I, I open the shop and close the shop. So, which means it's taking me long hours because I, I'm not doing shifts like the staff that maybe they come at seven, they do their eight hours and then they go. I have to yeah. open the shop and then close the shop. And even if we close at seven, I'll take an hour to one hour 30 minutes balancing yeah. the cash up so it's also still you have, you'll be working so yeah. you have to be yeah. prepared for such things because even when the cash up is messed up you can't go at home because you need to balance it and see yeah. that at the end of yeah. the day what is the mistake even as a business owner you're not gonna sleep properly not knowing why today the sales were like this and i was mm -hmm. expecting this and the stock went like this that so is. you players want to wrap up everything and start the following morning on a fresh clean slate. Wow. You know what, guys? Carol is the lady to go to because when she's talking about balancing the stock and this and that, already in my mind, I'm thinking, you know what? She's already got a business plan for this thing. So you got to contact Carol for this because she's been there. Carol, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I know that there are many people who are going to just come and learn from you and you learning from other people. But you know what? I, what I would do on my part is I'm going to send me your, your, your social media pages. Let me look at them. Let's see how we can even take them further. Is that, does that sound good? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> um, you can contact us or you can go on our social media, mm -hmm. which is Facebook. You can like our page, which is Sky's Meals, and then on Instagram, Sky's Meals again. Okay. All right. So Instagram and Facebook, it's Sky's Meals. S S K I E S. Yes. Okay. Sky's S -S Meals. E S Meals. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. We're going to do that, and all the subscribers, all the ladies, are going to do that. Thank you so much, Carol. Anything else that you want to say before we wrap up and um, you know have the session at a... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, I would like to say thank you so much for the opportunity you have given me and to other women outside who are listening who would like to do this kind of business. I'm available. You can contact me at any time. And even if you can't manage to contact me, I will tell you that you can do anything. Anything is possible. Even if it's a small thing that you're doing, doing, make sure you do it with all of your heart. It will bring good results. Wow. Awesome. You have had it, guys. You have had it. And Carol is one woman that I have seen in my life. And she has done this, she has done that. She has challenged me. And I always look up to her and say, wow, this is something that you, this now is your home. I'm sure this, because she's loving this. This is Samugumbi, the mompreneur, and we are the Afri moms. And we are saying that, come, let's talk. Let's interact. Let's hear what you are doing out there. Right now, the Blawaya ladies, You've got a business to do. Start where you are. Carol is there to mentor you because she said that she didn't have a mentor, but now you've got a mentor. Samu Gumbi, smiling is my trademark. Bye, guys. <laughs>